All right, hello everybody. It is Ritterman Gaming here, coming at you with another face-to-face -face vlog. Um, I haven't done one of these in quite a while, actually, but as you've probably noticed, I've been kind of uploading some videos and live stream exports here and there, playing some Minecraft, Craft, and actually my very first ever uh, edited, fully edited, and thought out and meticulously picked clips from my Outlast playlist here, or not Outlast, Banish uh, playlist here on the channel. I got confused with those two game titles because they're both like very green. And speaking of green, check out the light back there. I look good in this frame. I don't look green or anything, maybe a little bit. But I don't look out of place at all. I just thought I'd mention that because a new edition. I've never had one of these crazy light bulbs before that change colors on demand. And my cat is literally just staring at me. As they make this vlog. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about uh, some of my thoughts, concerns, and what's been going on in my world as you guys are doing your thing in your world. Oh, we all are on the same world. Our world. But uh, I've just been working a lot uh, through the holidays, throughout this global pandemic, shall we say. And, uh, I, you know, I've just been really busy trying not to die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and trying to get my paycheck, pay my bills, and come home and enjoy myself as much as I can. Uh, over the, I don't know, all my days off, I'm playing some Cold War, some Rocket League with my friends. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, and as well as, on the side, I would play some zombies, and uh, I would edit this Vanish video, and I thought it came out pretty nicely. It was hilarious watching it back. It was, I, I, I really enjoyed how it came out. I've also been playing on my Nintendo Switch, playing some Mario Maker 2. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really record anything with a Nintendo Switch because I don't have any sort of capturing software, or I, I don't even know how to do that. So, uh, for now, Nintendo Switch is out for recording. Um, I'm I've also recorded some Insurgency Sandstorm today, which was really damn fun. Um, over my days off and when I have spare time, I will be editing that video and getting a nice, clean cut, entertaining. Video. It was half of a review and half of me playing it, so I don't know how that's going to end up. But anyway, I've just been, you know, doing my thing in, in my world, grinding on my job, my full time job, pretty much. Um, I also changed my schedule with it, so pretty soon I will be start having, or I will start having three days off in a row, so that gives me plenty of time to come back home, edit videos, play the games I want to do or I want to play, and uh, record record videos live stream maybe i was also thinking about doing some more um holiday-esque sort of stuff here on the channel maybe some christmas games maybe playing a mod pack for minecraft or something like that i don't know we'll we'll we'll, we'll decide and we'll think about it and see what we want to do uh but anyway i just want to keep this sort of short uh not really much else going on in the world other than uh me trying not to die uh, working in retail, you know, having people in my face all the time, not wearing their face coverings correctly and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> as well as playing video games, of course. I'm a big old gamer guy. And I've also really gotten into guns recently. Like, I really wanted to play Tarkov and record it, but uh, Tarkov's anti-cheat software sees OBS as a, a sort, of, sort of cheating third-party software, so... When I do hit record for Tarkov, it's literally just a black screen. I, I can't see anything, but the audio still plays through for some reason. So I, I don't really know what's going to happen there or when I'll be able to play that game, if at all, with OBS. I've had quite a lot of trouble trying to get Tarkov to work on OBS Studio. Um, but yeah, a Sandstorm is actually really fun. Uh, it had all of the shooter aspects and realism that I enjoyed from Tarkov. Pretty much all of them, except for like the... The different parts of your body that will get hurt and bleed and have different sort of effects on them but it has a nice casual twist on the whole realism you could i literally just could could turn on my speaker i don't have to wear my headset or anything like that i could just go in and start playing and play against bots and have a great time using realistic excellently designed weaponry and lots of attachments lots of different replayability with it just play against some bots and have a good time. It's it's really fun. So hopefully 
within the next week or so. I, I don't know how long this is going to take because my job is very, very demanding with all my energy. Um, so maybe that insurgency video will be out next week, next couple weeks or something like that. I don't know. It, it's it's a long p- period to wait, but it takes a lot of time to edit. It took me like six hours to edit that Vanish video, and I thought it came out very nicely. And speaking of Vanish, once again, I might come back around to it. I might just come back around to it and try to finish and beat the game. Uh, Because I got so close. At the very beginning of that video, you'll see how close I was to winning Vanish. So I've played about six six videos of Vanish and good luck. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. That's about all I wanted to talk about. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button and subscribe for a daily basis. Not so daily basis of my videos. I need to find a new outro. Thank you all so much for watching. Without further ado, adios.